What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the first steps in a brand new campaign. So, by one vote, just one vote, Mysore beat uh, replaying or re-attempting the Greece campaign. So, unlucky for them, maybe next time. Um, here we go, we're ready to kick off a new campaign in the Indian uh, continent, which is something I've not actually done on this channel. So, it's going to be a world domination, it's going to be a true world domination. It's going to be... Hard, hard. I'm going to start off with one region, which is the region of Mysore itself. It looks like two on the map, but that's just not true. And, obviously, there is no description because it's not playable. I've got my uh, campaign, I've got my Darth Mod set to uh, custom. So not Darth Mod early, not Darth Mod late, I've got it set to custom to play as this uh, faction. So let's kick off. So I've not really done a whole lot of thinking about my overall strategy because I've not booted up the game and had a look at my sti uh, uh, had a look at my starting situation. So got Portugal with jo with Genoa. We got the Marathas at Arcot and Satara. The Mughals at Hyderabad, and the Dutch in Ceylon. Okay, so in terms of our relations. We're trading with both these factions, but we don't like. We're unhappy with the with the Marathas. Apart from that, we're not we're not trading with anyone else because we don't have a port. Very well. So Genoa may be a tempting first target then, although eh, that allies with Britain. Britain already likes to go after the human player quite a lot. But I'm not sure I want stacks and stacks of British troops landing on my coast just yet. I think the same thing will happen with the Dutch. Yeah. Good alliances, but let's not do that yet. Let's bring you back to base. And to be honest, I am tempted to just smash straight into the Maratha Confederacy because Arcot is will be quite an easy capture. And then we can drive up north and finish off the... Well, just push up through the rest of the Indian continent. That does mean we're probably going to want to keep policies high to sustain the military campaign off the bat. Let's do our ministers. So I'm going to absolutely mangle all of these names, so apologies for that. Najit Wagney, plus one treasury, plus one navy. In case you're good. Yeah. Plus one army. Okay, so you should probably be my army guy. My army guy is no good, so to immediately swap them over. So you're plus one treasury, plus one navy. Useless. Plus one happiness, plus one treasury. Plus one, man plus one management, plus one justice. I think that the happiness bounces, balances out overall. Minus one lower classes, plus one lower classes, minus one nobility. We don't care about the nobility being unhappy because we're an absolute monarchy. So I think I probably do want to take you and swap you out with Mr. Bansal, who is just... he will, My guy will be five stars basic. No one else is any better at being my navy guy than him. You're just as good as that guy. In the terms of my head of government, although plus one treasury, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management. Okay, so unfortunately you do have a minus one treasury at the end, but you are going to go here. And unfortunately for now, we don't have the, there's no one ideally placed to get four stars as my head of government. Because you would be looking for someone with just a generic plus one management, but these are all specific traits or they don't have anything. In which case, let's do you, you, and you to get a brand new selection of candidates. So, what have we got to play with? We've got a, we've got a Bangalore, we've got a couple of mines, a tea plantation and a school, which is quite useful. Let's do this. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is to get on the military attack quite aggressively. Off the bat, we also want to get our gentleman out of the capital. The scholar. To start researching. Let's send our agent up towards Hyderabad, but don't do any spying yet. 
Mr. Pangana Mort. Mr. Asas. Asas. <laughs> name. Let's gather the troops into your army there. So Hindu Musketeers plus whatever garrison they get. Okay, I probably want to recruit some dervishes to swarm up the walls, and then that'll probably be that. All upgrade. Upgrade the gold mine. Upgrade the roads. Probably upgrade the weaver's cottage as well. Then probably the barracks to increase the number of troops I can train, plus my recruitment possibilities. We haven't really gone over them. It's got Hindu warriors, dervishes. Dervishes are a bit cheaper, but they're also not as good. Which I think the main thing is Hindu warriors are sturdier in combat because they've got the shield, but they've also got lower morale compared to dervishes. The dervishes have got, got quite sturdy morale. Then we've got Hindu musketeers, bowmen, pikemen, and levy. So I'm not going to do anything for now. I am going to recruit some bowmen because you know how annoying they can be. Especially early game. Let's get some dervishes off the bat first. We are going to want a barracks. But right now there's nothing else we can really do. We can't really do any trade because we have no port to trade with. And there's no villages that are currently growing either. Let's hit end turn and let's see how things kick off. Because we're in India, I'm probably going to want to recruit some pikemen. So I, I'm, I assume it's still accurate in that pikemen are better than other melee troops against cavalry, despite their statistics. Because melee, because pikemen aren't actually super great in terms of their stats, but I'm assuming they've got a bonus versus cavalry. See, they want an alliance. That's the wrong way around, really. I'd rather ally with the Marathas against the Mughals, because that would give me territory to expand into. Whereas if I ally with them now, I don't really gain anything. So war between the provinces and Spain, Russia and Sweden, Portugal and the Marathi Confederacy. Well, that would be quite useful if they go after Goa. Let's give you guys the dervishes. They'll know something's up for sure. Okay, let's recruit the core of a new army. Hold. Although it's tempting, oh no, it's tempting to just jump on them because they don't really have anything. Let's jump on them. They're allied with France, but let's see if France joins them. They don't. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take our cot. Our cot, as a region, will produce more money than our capital. That's quite, so. That's why I'm particularly keen on jumping on it, and it also gives us a port to expand trade. Plus we have tea. There's no other place to get tea except for the Indian subcontinent and naturally I want to try and get trade with Great Britain. So... Yeah, they've got a couple of mortars. So I don't want to go too mad. some cavalry but let's just m pretty much use use the guns to blow a way in and once we've made our way in we'll just swarm we'll swarm in from all directions and their mortars won't be able to focus their fire Although it looks like their mortars are currently firing on that flank, so we may as well just charge on that front. And we may as well charge forward. And also my general's bodyguard is on elephants. Which is neat. Elephants with rifles. Or muskets. Get my guns to work on a second breach because to be honest we have the mass to attack a second breach at the same time you guys are running which is great let's run my cavalry up
Run two units either side of the gate and put one unit in the gate. I mean, my pikemen need to get to the breach. If you go there, will you volleyfire your arrows over the the wall into the troops? Keep my general close. Okay, right. You guys hold, you guys push up the flank. If these guys are going to charge through the gate, I want to surround them. So you men... Charge the Hindu warriors. Dervishes, charge. Get my horsemen to withdraw. You also jump on the musketeers to stop the guns from firing. These men are going to charge behind, down the wall into the combat. So you guys are going to secure the gate, allow the 106th Dakili to run through, getting a bit of cover from the gate. Hindu musketeers are going to go down. don't like it, but they're trying to... Okay, there we go. Well, I want you guys to just run in. Whether or not you'll be able to do that with the gates open. Excellent. The gate is ours. Now one unit of dervishes, to be honest, both of these units can swing. Those guys don't even want to try and go through the gate very well. My dervish is going to charge in, hit the Hindu warriors from the flank. My general's shooting, which I don't want him to do. The Hindu warriors is where their strength lies. That unit is just a unit of armed populace. So we do want to expect a counter stroke or counter attack from the Marathas. They're not going to let this go unpunished. Okay, just run past that water team, engage this one, stop them from firing. Elsewise, the Hindu warriors are doing well. But they won't be able to hold for long. There we go. They've lost their gunners. Keep squeezing the pocket tighter and tighter. I mean, they're doing quite a good job of holding. Okay, there we go. Keep attacking. Just try and get as many kills as you can. Excellent. So we've taken our first territory on the road to overall Indian victory. Lost 600 men, they lost their whole garrison. So let's focus our wealth on replenishing our garrison. So one thing to bear in mind is we are... What religion are, religion are we? We're Islamic. And Mysore is... 
majority Hindu, so we're going to want to change that. So let's get rid of this tavern in our cot. And we're going to rebuild it as a religious building. And we're also going to build... Well, actually, now we have the option. Let's do some trades. Hi, Britain. Do you want our tea? Wow, okay. The Ottomans are usually a good trade. Nope. 13 colonies, then? Nope. Huh. Denmark? Nope. Louisiana? Nope. Alright then, New Spain. Good. Persia. Well, they're allied with the Mughals anyway. That was going to be not, not a good idea in the long run. Savoy says no. Venice says no. Hmm. Alright then. Well, at least we got trade with uh, New Spain. 5,810. That's not bad at all. Oh, we have spices now. Oh, because we can't c captured some down here in our cot. Awesome. Okay, let's hit end turn. So we're likely to see Mo the Mughal Empire, not the Maratha Confederacy, send some troops south. Which won't be a massive problem. Yep, here they come. Let's have a look at the army composition. Yeah, we're going to be up against it a bit when we start to fight against the Mughal Empire. That's why I'm hoping I can take the Maratha territories, maybe even Goa and Ceylon, build up a bit. Then, once I've got some good resources, there's the gold mine built. One more turn till we get plug bayonets. So let's build you up to a madrasa. Yep, a madrasa. The awkward thing is, can you guys leave... Oh, cot. Minus three. Let's take this general, get him over to our cot. Still minus three, very well. Ooh, camel gunners. Camel nomads. Let's get some camel nomads. Get you guys over to Mysore. Combine these troops. Again, you could really do with your own cavalry, which we can't actually get yet. Can you get a cemetery horseman? Nope. Hmm. We want to get a sloop to occupy Calicut, and it's always sloops because the sloops have the lowest upkeep. I think they might be joint with Briggs, but they're slightly cheaper to buy as well, so it makes more sense. Upgrade the cannon foundry. Yes, me lord. Let's get a unit of... actually didn't check. Some lancers, Bajir infantry, Hindu warriors, Hindu musketeers. Not a bad list, but they're going to go through and raid some of our lands first. Let's see if we can get another... ooh! Ministers. Ooh, you're a really good minister. Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management. Okay, we don't need you as my justice minister. I want you as my head of government. So that gives us plus eight to diplomatic relations. So that might be enough to turn over opinion. Yes. Trade ahoy. 6,500, because now we've got Britain on our side selling the spices and tea. Okay, that's... Next turn, we're going to get plug bayonet. We're about to build the barracks, so we can keep going to socket bayonet, or maybe even... Well, bayonets probably aren't as important as square formation. We are likely to need that to hold off enemy cavalry formations. I might have to make our cots not have to pay taxes for a turn, just to make sure they come over into the fold. Then we're probably going to need to use our we will need to use our priests. Yeah, oh, good. They've been repulsed by the Mughals. They've been. This force has been depleted, but we don't know by how much. 
See, they still want an alliance, and I don't want to give it to them. It's not in my interests. In theory, it's, my, it's in my temporary interest, but in my long-term interest, wanting to invade them, it's very bad. Very, very bad. Okay. Yeah, so I can't, I might have to, I might have to exempt them from tax for a turn, which is a bit of a bummer. So we've got cobbled roads in Mysore. Got a good amount of tech. Syringa Patna. Carbines get says Kizilbashi Cavalry, which is quite good. But square is better. Square is better because we're likely to spend more time getting rushed. So we get some Andari horsemen, which we know how annoying they can be, so we might want to get some. Oh, cart. Okay, you've got that. You can get, get moved from a military governor's encampment to military governor's barracks. Is it worth doing? Not really. Not yet. If you move over to here, we do still have the movement required to go and attack this Maratha force, and it looks like they are got depleted lances. Let's surround it, engulf, and destroy this Maratha army. Then we can advance north, keep developing our military, because then we can take the Mughal main city and the Maratha main city. And then, I mean, granted, then then everything's kicked off, but then I think we're in a fairly good spot. Okay, so my Hindu musketeers are going to form my centre. I'm going to have wings of dervishes pushing up the flanks. Pikemen supporting them to counter wherever the lancers charge. Kizilbashi up front to provide bow fire support. Camels on the left, get my cavalry up on top of the hill. General in the centre. Very well. Looks like they want to stand back, which is their prerogative. Push up my wing, get my cavalry, get my guns up on the hill, ready to fire. Push up my pikes. Oop, just a second. Apologies for that. Um, okay, so... Get my general over on the left. I mean, that poor Bajir infantry, they're not going to know what hit them. Push my cavalry up to start skirmishing them. There's the 103rd Tuman Siladar Lancers. Some good Hindu warriors. But everyone else is ripe for the taking. The Islamic Swordsmen are a bit tricky. They are very good units. Push my push my cavalry up to skirmish their forces in their entrenched position. Not quite far enough. My guns can unlimber. They won't do any damage to my own guys just yet. Lances are charging. My Hindu musketeers. Very well. Just halt. Coming at us now. Ah, some of the lancers, some of my cavalry got caught. Okay, 
push the dervishes down, push the pikes down. My guns aim at... You're aiming at their guns? Good. Aim at their large unit of lancers? All my melee infantry hit to their Bajir infantry. Make sure my that unit is pushing around the rear. Excellent. That weak unit of lance has been pushed back. March my infantry up with my cavalry behind them. So we're going to spread the casualties out among these three units of dervishes. So the Dalai Lancers are re-attacking, so retargeting my guns to attack their general's bodyguard. These are camel nomads. Ideally I want my dervishes to blunt their attack. Go on dervishes, blunt their charge. Push everyone else up. There we go, everyone countercharge the lancers. Once they've fired their shot, so to speak, and they've advanced, then they're a bit screwed. Demon pour a volley into those Islamic swordsmen. My dervishes have, have pursued into them. So I want to get support up there pretty rapid. No one can afford to hang about. Hindu warriors are in. The swordsmen are wavering. Probably due to my musket fire and my bow fire from the horsemen. Looks like it's done a sterling work. It has pushed them back immediately. Get my main body advancing. Get all my melee infantry to advance over towards the new the new enemy centre of gravity. Get my camels back out to pursue and destroy these lancers. Now they're no longer charging. My camels will rule the battlefield. Let's give them a unit of pikemen to help out. Okay, so one Hindu musketeer unit take the bulk of their fire to the front. The other two units charge. My pikes advance against the general's bodyguard. Well, my other two units don't charge, they're going to flank. Got another elephant. Get around him. Bring up my general, fire it well off. Hindi Musketeers were apparently winning, not any longer. Go on, pikemen. Go get the general's bodyguard. Our lone gun team has done a sterling job. These Hindu Musketeers. Yep, they have broken. 
gonna cease fire. Ideally try and kill the general within the last few seconds. Got him. Good. Let's end the battle there. So that's the first Maratha counterattack defeated. Excellent. 541 to 1302. That's quite good. You men replenish and advance. We can rebuild the tea plantations. Let's get better roads in our cot. Let's upgrade the gem pit from an open gem pit to a deep gem shaft. Excellent. So we've got the barracks. Agree, the Cotted Weaver's Cottage in Bangalore, and we've got Cobbled Roads. Good stuff. So, do you have a school here? You do. It's a Tara. Okay, I definitely want a priest or some such to spawn here, because we're gonna that's going to hit our income next turn. Apart from that, things are going quite well. Workers were on strike, no longer. And we've got Plug Bayonet. So... Let's pick, pick a nation, Britain. Let's trade, plug bayonets for carbines. Fine. Uh, Prussia. Oh, you already have plug bayonets, don't you? Russia. Nope, nope. Sweden. Plug bayonets for empiricism and I'll offer a grand. Well, 58. My whole treasury! Ooh, did we get it? He says, I don't like. I don't want to talk about the things we've gone through, and I think we might have got it. No, we didn't. Damn. Let's hit end turn. I don't like the fact that Britain's loading up an army. It's never good as the human player. Oh well, either way, the rest of the world is continuing to turn on its axis, and we are still in the clear to advance up towards Satara. Obviously that small army is going to run around and do some raiding. We're going to want to take them out. I don't know if my force will be immediately replenished to take the city. And it will probably be a significant force waiting for us. Yeah, so the mines got broken. Just swing east to take them out quickly. Yeah. Just so it's done. Yes. Advance up towards Atara. Got a madrasa, upgrade it to a large madrasa. So if I unexempt you from tax. You're only minus one. So I might have to keep the nomads there. Maybe we could group a unit of bowmen to act as a quasi garrison. Let's upgrade. Dancing school to a school of the arts. <coughs> apologies, apologies, I couldn't get to the button in time. Uh, which I think we do want to do. Increases happiness, increases growth, and it's only a thousand. We really need the cannon foundry because we're short on artillery. Okay, keep advancing. Oh, they took Ahmadnagar from the Mughals. Let's get my spy over there. Oh, they might be about to take it back. Either way, get my spy over towards the capital. Oh, just a second. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so things are okay. We're advancing towards Tara. Ooh, a bunch of troops of Mysore recruited. Missed that. They're doing these one handed because I've got a cup of coffee in the other. There we go. Okay. So this force is now it's in really good shape to take out almost anyone on the battlefield, but I do want to gravitate towards my natural preferences and get some more infantry and maybe filter out some of my dervishes or even just combine the weaker units of dervishes together. 
There we go. Okay, 1,111. I mean, I do want to take Ceylon, definitely. But I want to see how the European situation evolves first. Okay, so we're still advancing on Satara. Everything's going okay. We'll get a second school there. I want to get a, an Imam or some such to spawn here at our cot so I can begin converting Mysore. Because most of the regions in India will be Hindu. So I, do, I am going to have to do some religious conversion right off the bat. Otherwise, though, in general, things seem to be looking okay. I mean, the Mughals aren't going to be a pushover when it comes to fighting them. So that's why I'm going to really want to focus on... Ah, okay. Very well. Very well, Mughals. Might even just go for Hindustan, because it's the, the larger city that's closer. So if the Marathas... If the Marathas want to get at us from Satara, it will take them longer. And Hyderabad has basic defences, but not massive ones. Okay, let's push you guys up. Do they want to intercept us? Nope. Give them my Hindu Musketeer reinforcements. Can I get my general out of Arcot? I can, over towards Satara. Two camel nomads, two guns, two Hindu warriors, three Hindu musketeers. All of my money on reinforcing my military strength. Can't get any more trade because this was an overland trade route. Hyderabad should be a relatively easy take. We are going to fight a battle for it soon. Yeah, the, the Marathas don't really have the strength to push against us, which is unfortunate, but... When you guys have finished recruiting in three turns, you can probably push and take the city itself. Well, let's make Mr. Yes, Pangamala attack Ram Daraz to clear out the region of Hyderabad of Mughal troops. Then we can take the city and fortify the bejesus out of it. And our economy should just start booming. It doesn't mean it's going to delay our ability to get a second school for a little bit longer but it won't be decisive Hindu musketeers in the center guns upon the high ground dervishes on the flanks pikes as reinforcements quite a good chunk of skirmish cavalry See, I've never played as an Indian faction, but I've played against them so much that I kind of feel like I know what everything does. So let's keep running. Oop, just a second. I've been fine all morning, but it would appear that I've suddenly started to develop a cough. So let's push my troops up. That's their reinforcements, a mighty unit of bowmen. Their gunners are doing a lot of damage to us. We only have to withstand it for so long. My camels around the rear. Well, actually, I can do a bit more like that because you are melee infantry. Uh, 
left the pikes behind. Understandable if you guys choose to rout. Musketeers involved. You men charge in. I forgot the other unit of pikes as well. My supporting Hindu musketeers are now in. Get some of my cavalry to start to skirmish their general. The skirmishing bow fires done is doing real well. Yeah, so they've been wiped out. I've been very lucky not to lose any cavalry to that spike. I've not been paying attention. So this two-man is going to engage the General's bodyguard with bow fire. As well as my gun team to the rear. Ultimately, I don't expect anyone to come back. We're going to get a good few kills here as they retreat through my cavalry line. Let's get my Hindu musketeer unit to push up into the middle just to provide a little bit of extra gunfire. Although realistically, I can probably just charge my camels in and deliver the coup de grace. Cease fire the guns. Yeah, there we go. Ah, too bad. We are going to carry on just because we've got a good number of good number of cavalry in our interests. We might not get very many kills. We may as well. There's one unit of two fangy there that's wiped out. Although it looks like this is the only unit left and they are about to be destroyed. Islamic Swordsman unit no, no less. Well, that's still a good capture. Excellent. We're not within, currently within range, but that's a good force there. When you're finished, and when our cot settles down, you can get the Camel Nomads as well and push on towards Atara. One more turn till we get square formation, which is great. It's unfortunate about the trade, but there we are. We're about to get Hyderabad, which isn't itself a, a, a valuable territory, but it will give us a strong front line. Oh yeah, they're definitely going somewhere. It's probably towards me. So I think that's the the balance. Well, so what I'm learning with the with the, with the difficulty is that if you click hard, everyone is aggro against you, which is fine. People just don't like you. If you click normal, then instead they honour their treaties and they don't. Do, they don't break them, at least not as easily as they do in this. Like in this, the, the Mughals didn't. The, yeah, the Mughals didn't really have a, a reason to attack me, but they just did. Because I think it's because I'm the human player, and they're going to siege, uh, blockade my port, which isn't great. Got to, oh, I don't want to build a fifth rate. I want to stockpile cash. When we are going to attack, I just want to group my troops together. Let's just try and take it. I mean, I should try, should have tried to uh, demand surrender. What I want to do is take Hyderabad, then try and make peace. Fundamentally, I don't want to be at war with the Mughals just yet. 
But if I can take Hyderabad and force them to the to the uh, to the table, then I'd consider that a valuable valuable win for us. So, same as last time. Not gonna really be doing anything too crazy because the AI just doesn't have the strength to stop us. Just deploy everything such that we can blow a hole in the line and then just pour through. You can see the enemy strength, the enemy walls do actually crumble quite quickly. You guys probably want to advance. Yeah, they, don't, they definitely don't break as hard as European walls do. bring everyone forward there's no no cleverness no strategy going on here you men just climb the walls at different points Try get two units of dervishes up front. Everyone does need to run though. Can't afford to stand still. Get my cavalry right up close to see if they can fire their bows over the wall. The armed populace are charging. So this is the real danger from the enemy mortars, it's just the morale effect. God, the Unpopulous broke real quick. The Pikes, though, they will have a different story to tell. So run my cavalry away. the wall. There go the pikemen. We've taken the central gate somehow. We're about to take the bowmen. Or we're about to rout the bowmen. Everyone get in. So you men charge that set of guns. You men... Get you no dervishes to hit the bowmen in the flank. Got my own dervishes attacking the general's bodyguard. Yeah, we pretty much just swarm, swarm, swarmed. Go on, pikemen, get the cannons. There we go, now they're wavering. Now they're not quite so sure what they want to do.
you men also attack the general's bodyguard. Like the brave souls you are. Hmm. They want to attack the house. How odd. All these guys just pouring through the gate. Yep, General is incredibly upset. They're about to go down. Charge my musketeers in. Yeah, things seem to be going pretty darn well. Huzzah! 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 So, Mughal Empire, do you want to chill out? Oh, very well. Although it looks like it's just about to begin. The men protecting Hyderabad. Replenish. You're all going to need cover. Can I move the bowmen out? I can. Although there's likely to be a push from you guys. Down here, more likely. 1,800. Okay. Large madrasa should start to chip away the religious unrest. Okay, really, I need a. I need some ships to protect my <clears throat> my valuable trade. Unless, yeah, I was wondering if I could peace out with the Marathas, <clears throat> but apparently not. Apparently they do not want to let us off the hook so easy. They're still awfully sore about the, uh, the whole war thing. So they're re-gathering their strength. What was that noise? It's probably their ships re-attacking my port. Opportunity to intercept? Yes, for a little old... Oh god, I should not have auto-resolved that. Bad auto-resolve. Bad. Lesson learned. Airport's been blockaded. Can't actually build musket troops where you are. I mean, you can't really attack Satara by yourself either now. Let's build a fifth rate. Then when we get another fifth rate, we can do two versus one. Knock him out. School of Arts has been researched. We've got an enemy agent. It would be useful to try and knock him out. Yes, sir. Hmm. Still haven't, haven't given up. They haven't given up. But yeah, I want to get some ships, free up my port, because that trade is, is now incredibly vital. Right, 
Yes, yeah, so they're pushing that force south. A force mostly consisting of cavalry, so we should be able to break it. They're gathering up an army to reattack the city. Thank God they didn't make it this turn, so at least we get a bit of respite from for our uh, armies to replenish. Sabotaged a warehouse. Okay, we want to probably want to advance and knock out this leading cavalry element. That's really unfortunate. Hey, they've left our port alone. Let's get another fifth rate just to make sure. Abundant yield gem pit is quite a good buy, but I think I want to. Again, we didn't really get, actually get much replenishment there. But then again, you've got one gun. Then again, so do we. Okay, let's play. How many reinforcements do we get? So if I combine you two, because I'm, I'm watching these ticks, so we're kind of artificially gaining more troops. They might not necessarily be good troops, but they're still more troops. It's probably going to be about it. Can't get my bowmen up there yet. But I mean, you guys, you've got a good amount of... A good infantry line that knows... Oh, I haven't been watching this, have I? Okay, I need to start doing some of this stuff. Spinning Jenny would be useful because we have two Weaver's Cottage. But I need to, Well, really, I need to start getting physiocracy. Create more upward pressure. Because actually, right now, my sort is shrinking rather than growing. I sabotage my peasant farms. That's fine. Let's take this general to attack this cavalry element. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for this continuing scrum in India. Cheers everyone.